Hello everybody, welcome back to the Dragon and Bear show. Where today isn't actually my intro, but... It's your show. It is, it's your yeah. show. It's your show it's and my... you're a fan, so your intro. It's my intro again. And we are talking about, like last week, the Gravity Falls show. Which was on Disney, and then Disney XD. Yeah. And today's episode is The Legend of the Gobble Walker. Gobbly wobbly wobbly woo. It's that it, it's a good follow up episode that mm. again deals with obviously uh, obviously some sort of spooky ass threat. Yeah, but obviously but unlike it's not always a threat. Yeah, that and but obviously unlike the first episode where it's that you just Mabel and Dipper dealing with it. Yeah. Now Zeus is heavily involved in it. Yep, uh, and a lot of the rest of the town are being warned of this threat because it's yep. like a giant lake monster. So obviously they yep. split up the group to go deal with the lake monster while Grunkle scan stands basically just getting into trouble with the... <laughs> Grunkle, Grunkle stands getting... <laughs> he's getting... <laughs> he's getting in trouble with... Get kicked out of the restaurant. He's getting in trouble obviously with fucking uh, the lake police. Lake police. But basically bo- is... bothering everyone. Yep. But, say, like, oh. It... it it's definitely obviously the idea. This is more obviously is very clear, like the Loch Ness monster, that type of yeah. creature, which Nessie. a lot of like shows tend to use as like a base. I mean, Phase of Third yeah. did it in one episode, didn't it? Mm. That was pretty early on, I think, if I remember correctly, and that's so as well. So this this does it as well with a very early episode about a lake monster, <laughs> which involves yeah. the the old guy. They all God, man, Oh look, he's he's happy dancing. Yep, 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 yep. yep. So yeah, it's, like, it's, it's a really good, well-paced episode of obviously them going mm. off to the island. Obviously, armed with cameras that Zeus and that just keep throwing away. Breaking. Yeah, you should have stopped throwing these away. Stop it! Oh, what he threw two away. Like, stuff like that. It's, like, it, it, it's, it's a like, little bit of comedy. Yeah, obviously they're going to, for a photo shoot because I want to try and get a picture of like, a monster for like, this contest yeah. to win some money. And they go on the boat. Oh, yeah, and get, the ball. yeah, get to a fucking island. Island. And try and track down this monster, but obviously they keep getting pictures of like random stuff like beavers. Yeah. Before obviously like eventually beavers. we get to see this monster, which oddly sounds like a T Rex from Jurassic Park. Um, and obviously we get this really cool like sequence of them being chased by it, mm. and then obviously the big reveal with it. But even though we get a big reveal of. A, bi- a load of BS, like a lot of these, a, yeah. lot, a lot of these type of ones. There's a lot, of, like there's a re- usually a reveal of there's a BS behind. It's very Scooby Doo esque. This episode is, I'd say. This episode is very Scooby Doo. Yeah, not a lot of them though. I, I find no, I a, lot, a lot of them are, a lot of them are actual legitimate uh, creatures. Only a good few. But obviously, this is one of the one, this the one the Scooby Doo yeah. type ones, which I'm pretty certain there's actually an episode of Scooby Doo is this type of monster, and there's someone fucking inside it. But yeah, yeah. it's obviously. I think there is definitely. There's obviously that BS angle, but with Gravity Falls, it's also always there's something more to it, which obviously we get to yeah. right at the end where there's actually yes, a there's, walker. what we've been seeing is a load of BS, but there is generally something like that out in yeah. this, uh, this place. But I do like how it, it takes us away to a new location because obviously the mm. first episode f- heavily focused on the Mystery Shack and its surrounding forest. And then this one's a lake and an island. Yeah, this one takes you to a lake and an island for like a day trip, which is yeah. a nice little... Because like they could have literally kept you uh, with the Mission Shack and just carried on from there, but I like that it takes you away from the Mission Shack and takes you somewhere new uh, mm. to deal with a new uh, type of creature. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think this one meshes up as much as the first episode, but it's still very no, good. I agree. I think the first episode's much better. Yeah, uh, but it's still a really good episode. I, I, see, yeah. as a, most of this show, I, I, I don't, don't think they, there are any bad episodes. No, no. In my opinion, no episode is bad. Obviously, it, it's a mixture of there's a lot of episodes that are really high, mm. and there's a lot of episodes that like this where they are just below. They're not heavily below, yeah. but they're like are just a step back. I think there's a lot of episodes yeah, like this, definitely. but it, as I say, it's still a really fun episode because it's just basically them being idiots, like just the, the cameras breaking and throwing them away. Yeah. There's stuff like little jokes like that. Obviously, uh, Zeus having the photo shoot with the bee. Like, yeah, work it, work yeah. it, work. Like stuff like that is very fucking funny. Yeah, um, especially for us immature adults. Yeah, it, it kind of gives you a moral of the story, doesn't it? This one. Yeah. Like old people, they get lonely. Pete too. 
that's literally the whole plot of it. Yeah. Literally, that's the whole thing with the monster. Is that's the whole reason behind the monster. Uh, but then again, I think that guy's a bit kooky anyway. I mean, the fact that he literally uh, created a giant pterodactyl creature because his ex-wife. He yeah. created a giant robot just because someone didn't come to a retirement party. I'm robot. And now he's working on a, a, de- a death ray. A death ray. <laughs> I think it's just, it might just be a bit kooky at this point in the just, show. Just a bit. Just a bit. <laughs> so I don't think we could take the concept of that of all people get lonely from him because I feel like it's not just the lonely angle of him, it's the stairs a bit. Woo-woo. The mind goes. But obviously with Grunkle Stan, it's, it's the lonely angle. Yeah. You can see the fact that he's taken them, even if it is a creepy way of, let's put a blindfold on you and get in the car. That's yep. a bit creepy. But then again, that sums up Grunkle Stan. He's a creepy guy. I mean, it's better than forging good money. Really. I mean, that, that the little jokes there. I do like, there's a lot with this. It does have the, There's a lot of adult humour. There is the sort of family guy angle of cutaway gags. Yeah. And I was in this, it's like, ah. Oh, it better not be like last family fun day. So you then like making fake like dollar bills and stuff, and yeah. then the cops arrive, and it's like ah oh, uh, the the county jail. <laughs> like the jokes like that. I like they like these little cutaway gags. Yeah. It's not, there's not like a huge amount of them, but like, the ones that are. Oh, see, they're, yeah, so they're just perfect. The money laundering. The yeah, the money laundering. This one in the last one, it was the the kissing of the obviously. Yeah, the, the blow. The, the leaf the, blower. The, yeah, that thing, the vacuum. But unlike the leaf blower, this doesn't really do anything. No, it's, it's just, just a, a little, it's a little, little gag thing. of some of the shit that he gets him up to. Mm. It kind of uh, gets you ready for like the fact that he's going to put him in something that they don't really want to do, something yeah. possibly illegal. But obviously, in this case, it's like just like a ten-hour fishing trip. Yeah, about fucking hell, ten hours. Which, which I feel like it, that's got to be illegal. It's got to be <clears> illegal <throat> taking your kids on a ten-hour fishing trip. I, I don't. I wouldn't be able to cope. Maybe an hour or two on the lake. 10 hours is a bit extreme. But yeah, there's a lot of fun with this. Obviously, there's a lot of like action moments again. Yeah. Because like, that, that, like the first one's a massive chase sequence in this, uh, which obviously results in a land chase and a water chase, which yeah. results in Zeus losing his shirt, somehow gaining it for one pitch and then losing it again. I, I, I don't know question why he keeps... Like, and then a... loses it again, yeah, man. It's just like, where, where's his shit? Because obviously, as I said to you, it makes sense the first time because his shirt is ripping. And when he gets yeah. flying off the boat, maybe it literally just like ripped off or he just shot off him. But then it's literally when the photo shoot happens and you see him again in a shirt. But then when it cuts away from the pictures, he's literally shirtless again with uh, his really small life jacket on. So it's definitely less of a plot uh, like forward in one. Mm. It's more of like, just like, you kind of filler episode, but at the same time, it's like introducing your town people. Um, and side characters. Exactly, because a lot of these towns, like some of these towns people are side characters, i.e. the cops, yeah. the one-eyed woman, uh, the old guy. They're yeah. all like side characters, so it sets up them and obviously just shows a few of the towns people. Oh, and the big fucking buff big guy. The, the fish are attacking! They're coming for revenge! Swim, boys! Swim! <laughs> but it's the characters like that, it sets all these up, ready yeah. for like, down the line. So it's more of just like a setup episode for these characters, and they say it does the idea of showing at the end that there is still legitimate. Like the gnomes aren't just a one-off monster thing. Like yes, no, there's, there's more out there. Yes, obviously the whole creature of this episode is BS, but there is still some reality going forward. So it, yes, it might not have a, a massive setup for it's this plot, but it does. It show it does a good job of. Setting you back because I think there is a few episodes like this, isn't there? There's a few episodes that aren't heavily yeah. plot based, like in terms of the main plot. Um, I think there are a few like this, but you, like I said, like you will see some of the elements from this episode in later episodes, exactly. Like, um, I don't want to say it because it ruins like the finale. Yeah, uh, yeah, don't don't say. Yeah. It, but you, we get the idea. There's there's elements that you'll see, see utilized yeah. down the line. So it's not just like a throwaway episode. There's is yeah. stuff here that is going to get pushed forward. Absolutely. Um. So what are you going to rate it then? Ooh, as I say, it's not like a. It's. I it's feel not like, a ten. No, it's not a ten. But I think it's still a high nine. <laughs> like, see, I feel I feel terrible now because I was mm. about to say eight. Because oh, I feel like it's not. 
it's not bad. It's not like a seven, but it's not a nine for me. It's a good. It's a high eight. I'm just. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a eight point five or an oh. or an eight. I'm just. Oh, the, I'm. I'm just doing my my map. My, I got the numbers like map around my head. You're like that, that woman. This is. I'm gonna say hi and um, okay, yeah, oh, okay, I'll take, mm. I'm taking all like, these responses. I got uh, all like, the the things you've been saying. That's like implementing all these little number changes. I still, I still really love this show. And I still think it's like yeah. decent. I, I, I think some, I think someone might go to the point, but I think this one I'm going like just rounding it to the normal, like dun, dun, mm, nine, nine out of ten. <laughs> I was, I was debating nine point five, and I was like. No, no, no. I, I feel like that. I feel like this is like the sort of the, the ground it sets. Yeah. In my opinion, I feel like I, I feel like I don't off the top of my head think of any episodes that drop below nine. I still think it's I a really fun episode. I think if I go with eight, then that gives me a bit more leeway than you. Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go with an eight because then I can get a bit more. You can get more. Opinionated. You can get more point service, so you literally can go. Yeah. You can literally get anywhere from eight point one to nine point nine throughout the rest of this run. Whereas I'm now stuck between nine point one and nine point nine. But I did say I think that I did say that a Oh, are so we I, actually doing points? Point, you can. You points. can do. You can oh, do. No, man. No, let's just do point fives and that again, man. <laughs> I ain't got the time to do math. You you can go for your point fives. I'll go for the actual points. Fine. I'll, I'll, try, I'll try to, and until my my brain just explodes and go fuck it. Point, point, point. But yeah, uh, yeah, I'm giving it an eight for sure. Eight. Okay. It's it's not it's not a bad episode. It's but it's not the best. It's, it's still reasonable. It's still reasonable. Yeah. Uh, unless I decide like, to change, unless I decide to change my rating in post. <laughs> I've done that before. I've given it something, then quickly change my mind and be like. Actually, fuck that. And I've really recorded myself over. Just to, wow. Just to be like, oh, no, no, no. I, I've never thought, but no, you just sit back and obviously at one point you're quickly like, on the spot, like, yeah, it's this. But then when, yeah. you, when you think about it after, you're like, wait, no. No, 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 fuck, I made a, I made a mistake there. But no, I don't think I'll, I think I'll stick with a nine. I do love Gravity Falls. It's fun. Oh, no. It's fun. But yeah, obviously, uh, please be a vampire, please be a vampire, please be a vampire. Is that the intro? No. <laughs> then why'd you say it then? It sounded like an outro. No, I was just saying, please be a vampire. I was, I was calling back to the first episode when I did it. <laughs> Fuck. If you like what you've seen, don't be afraid to uh, throw us a little like and uh, subscribe. That's always very appreciated over here. And, uh, well, I'll see you on the next video.